toolbox utilizing a tank turret, mounts 20 millimeter and caliber 50 guns. The Panther II turret bunker was pretty much a permanent fortification. These turret bunkers would consist out of a concrete bunker with living quarters for a dream and crew, ammo storage and an exit through a trench system connecting the other bunkers and sometimes more ammo storage. These bunkers were commonly seen along the Atlantic Wall and along points of interest that needed heavy fortification like airfields. Most of these Sturm bunkers were taken from decommissioned German and foreign tanks. They also had a production line of turrets designed specifically for these duties. The D24804 was one of these turrets. And it was pretty much an upgraded modified Panzer II turret with the 3.7 KWK gun. They also had no top hatches and no fission ports on the right side of the turret. These Turm bunkers proved to be pretty hard to take out because of their low profile, they were hard to hit and hard to spot, especially the ones with better frontal armor like the Panther Turm, which you only could take out from the side, meaning you had to break through their lines or get up close and personal with the turret to take it out. The Panzer II turret at the Mammoth Park is no DT-48 turret, but just a normal Panzer II turret seen on many bunkers on the Atlantic Wall. It's not known to me if this particular one was used on any bunker modification or it was just made into one for the museum. The bunker term at MMM Park is in a great restored condition and they let you get up close and personal with this one. I've seen many of these Panzer Turm bunkers in museums and most of them are placed in dioramas so they are always in the background and it's nice to see one up close for once. You also can have a look inside this one and see how cramped these smaller turn bunkers actually were. So when you walk in one of these Turbuk Panzer Turm bunkers, the first thing you notice is that if you are a big guy, you probably are going to have a problem. Because I had to crawl in and it could probably not stand up straight under the turret. But when you finally squeeze yourself in there, you pretty much get a good idea in how cramped and claustrophobic these things were with all the noise and smoke back in the day. <laughs> 